Hi, I'm Monique Crabb. I'm a multidisciplinary artist, um, originally from Houston, Texas, and have been in Baltimore for 15 years. There's different steps to making a quilt. There's three layers to it. There's the top, and then you have the batting in the middle, and then you have the back. So often, um, people will machine piece the pieces together, and then you have to like quilt it. And you, a lot of people can use the machine to quilt, or you quilt it by hand. Um, and that was like another thing that I taught myself was just like watching someone hand quilt and then I was like okay I'll do that and so I also taught myself how to hand quilt and how to make binding which is a, another it's a different type of sewing but um but still similar I approached each piece just like design wise um with colors and shapes and it was very intuitive process where I would lay colors on the floor and kind of move things around and cut things up I avoid um, synthetic materials because um, natural dyes don't stick to it. So it has to be um, has to be natural fibers. So cellulose, which is cotton, and then protein um, fabrics are um, like wool and silk. I've been walking dogs off and on for 10 years. And when I started getting into natural dyeing, I would, I would either see other dyers use materials and I would look it up and and then I would look for it on my walks. One of my first um, foraging was uh, Druid Hill Park. They have Osage orange trees. And you need the heartwood for it. Um, but I just like took some bark and there was like a branch that had fallen down and I like shaved, shaved it up and boiled it and you get like a really beautiful yellow from it. Um, you know, and like food waste, uh, yellow onion skins, you can get like beautiful golden color to light yellow, but depending on how much materials you have. And that's what's like the beauty of natural dyeing is like you can get like a wide variety of colors from just one plant based on how you alter it um, with either um, like lime will alter the pH and you'll get a different color. Um, and then you could add iron, which saddens colors. So I grow some things in the summertime. This past summer I grew like matter root. I'm growing that, but it takes three years to get color from it and it, it produces a red. You can get like pink to orange to like a real red from matter root, but you have to like combine other colors to get like a true like Turkish red. Um, what other colors? So I've grown indigo and just done like a um, a fresh leaf and it, you get like an aqua color you don't get the deep blue from it and and then like flowers you um, what else marigolds you get like a orange to yellow color the process of quilting and of natural dyeing it was like a challenge it was just like next quilt's gonna be all plant dyed and since then I think the last two years all my quilts have been mostly plant dyed quilts.